Good day everyone. Today we will be talking about the divisibility rules for numbers 2, 5, and 10. Okay, but before the rules, or we talk about the rules, let's talk about the word divisibility. When we say divisibility, it is a number's quality of being evenly divided by another number. Meaning to say that if you divide a certain number by a certain number, it will give you a whole number as a quotient. So, there is no remainder. Okay? Now, let's talk about the rule for number 2. So, a number is divisible by 2 if it ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, or what we call even numbers. So, no matter how large a number is, if it ends with uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, or what we call even numbers, no, you can divide it or um, by 2. Meaning to say it is divisible by 2. So, for example, we have 366. It ends with number 6. 148 ends with number 8. 700 ends with 0. 192 ends with 2. 984 ends with 4. So, all of these numbers ends with even numbers. So, therefore, they are divisible by 2. Okay? How about the two here below? Two numbers here. We have 125 and 243. Do you think we can divide it by 2 without giving us a quotient with remainder? No. Because it ends with 5 and 3. So, 5 and 3 are not even numbers. Therefore, these two numbers are not divisible by 2. Our next rule is for number 5. Now, when can we say that a number is divisible by 5? So, let's talk about the rule. A number is divisible by 5 if that number ends with 0 or 5 or all numbers ending in 0 or 5 are divisible by 5 so you're just going to think of only two digits we have 0 and 5 so just by looking at the one's digit of a certain number no if it's 0 or 5 then therefore it is divisible by 5 for example, we have 405, 1,000, or even a large number, which is 3,456,000. So just by looking at the ones digit, 5, 0, and 0, you can easily identify if a certain number is divisible by 5, it, if it ends with 0 or 5 only. Okay? How about this one? 366. So look at the ones digit. It is 6. Now, is it divisible by 5? No, because it is not 0 or 5. So therefore, this is not divisible by 5. Okay? And the last rule is for number 10. A number is divisible by 10. If it ends with zero only. Okay? So all numbers ending in zero are divisible by 10. So for example, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, or you skip count by 10. All of the numbers that you can encounter or you will encounter by uh, skip counting by 10, those numbers are divisible by 10. Even 1 billion, no? it ends with 0, so therefore, 1 billion is divisible by 10. That's how simple it is.